Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Lately there's been a lot of things in fashion that have been inspiring me. I don't necessarily think I'm going to call this like a trend video, especially not a trend prediction video. This is just stuff on Pinterest and online that's really been speaking to my soul. I've been very inspired by in general with my fashion and just overall vibes. Kind of wanted to make a what's trending in my world, what's inspiring me type of video. I am very excited for fall so a lot of these are kind of fall themed. Also I probably will say this is so inspiring by the 2000s or 2010s a million times because that's where I'm taking a lot of inspo from right now so I'm sorry if that gets old real fast I'll probably be repeating it over and over again but I have been loving the 2000s and 2010s fashion trends and aesthetics in general so let's just hop right into it I have a big fat list to share with you guys and I am super excited to just get all of these things off my chest First up, I have been very, very inspired by ladybug motifs, which is kind of random, but it's all over my Pinterest. I'm talking ladybug motifs on clothes, nail art, makeup, tattoos, literally anything you can think of I've honestly been so inspired by. I think this really stems back to when I was obsessed with that one set from Blonita. I think it's actually sold out and I don't know if they're going to restock it so I may never get my hands on it but that pattern in general really sparked this obsession with ladybugs. I really like the red with the black dots. I think it's very cute, very quirky which is kind of the vibe I've been loving and obviously in a full-blown ladybug form I just think it's really really cute. I've even been saving pictures of little ladybugs on leaves just because I just think it's adorable. There's also these Mary Janes from I think it's called Hot Chocolate as the brand and they make adorable Mary Janes but these ones are specifically ladybug inspired. I think they're so so cute. I don't need any more shoes at the moment. Like truly I have too many shoes and too many Mary Janes that need to be worn anyways that are neglected so I, <laughs> I don't need any more quirky Mary Janes but I do love these. I think they are very very cute so maybe one day if I still love them later down the line one thing that is really great about this particular inspo though is that I feel like it's so easy to incorporate without buying anything. I mean the ladybug pattern is so simple. You can do it on nails and makeup like I was saying. So I feel like I could probably explore this without actually purchasing anything which is very good. I just really think this is cute and a fun, a fun little motif for me at the moment. Next up I have also been super into low top converse. I've always loved converse anyways. I had a bunch of high top ones in middle school and high school and even now I still have a few pairs that I wear on and off. But lately, I feel like I've just been extra inspired by Converse. I feel like, of course, the, my love of 2000s and 2010s fashion has been kind of fueling it even more. And I forgot how cute low top Converse were. Um, I've been pinning some on Pinterest and I just kind of forgot that like your socks can poke out really cute, kind of decorate it in different ways. I almost feel like the low top gives an even more casual vibe than the high top. I still love the high top version too, but it just is speaking to me as like, again, kind of quirky twee energy, whimsical in a lot of ways. There's this one picture on Pinterest where they mix a pink converse with a purple low top converse and it's just very very cute. Like I said very whimsical which I feel like again I've kind of been leaning towards lately. This is definitely something I could probably thrift in the future. Again I don't need any more shoes so it's kind of hilarious I'm talking about shoes so much on this particular inspo video but I, I do think shoes are probably one of my favorite types of clothing. I just love shoe design and how it can be very casual or very extra and over the top. So I have been really into low top converse again so uh, it probably would be something I would thrift in the future. I don't think I'd buy it new. For now, it's just something that I've been really liking on the internet. Next up, I have been very inspired by colored hair. I've always loved colored hair. I've had different hair colors in the past, but this is kind of a different obsession because I've been really liking when people mix different colors in their hair. I'm talking like rainbow colors, maybe just different types of pastels. It could even be the same color, but it's like different shades. So it has like this kind of cool highlight effect. Something about it has been very interesting to me inspiring. I don't think I would dye my hair right now because I've done it in the past and the maintenance and recovery is just a lot. It's hard to dye your hair fun colors if you want like healthy hair but I do I do really really like seeing it all over and I feel like just as a color palette it really inspires me too so it's definitely very funky pictures that I really really like when it's like the bright rainbow I think that's just so interesting and cool to look at and yeah I think colors in general can really inspire your overall fashion taste so even if it's in hair I still think it can definitely spark some joy you know and again like I, I feel like the theme of this video is definitely whimsical and twee and I feel like that definitely fits into this category as well. Next up, I have another motif for you guys, which I feel like motifs and clothing are kind of random and what inspires me is kind of random. It's mainly from Pinterest or online somewhere. 
but lately I've been really inspired by music motifs, specifically like piano motifs on clothing and shoes. I think the black and white pattern obviously is very aesthetically pleasing, but I also just think there's something so fun and quirky about it again. Like it's very kitschy, kind of gives that like twee Jessica Day vibe. There's just one picture from the Manny where I think Fran wears it like a little piano skirt and it's super, super fun and cute on her. So, so a specific reference I really like and her fashion in general is very fun and over the top and again, kind of like that kitschy vibe. So I'd be down to give off those vibes, you know, and once again hot chocolate that one company has a very cute Mary Jane's inspired by it again Don't need them But I love the Mary Jane design they have of like the music notes coming off of it and everything I think that's just very 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 cute next up this one feels very fallish But I've been really into tights and knee-high socks, which I kind of am every fall But especially this year I've been really really inspired I especially love when it's a very like bright color of tight or knee-high sock or if there's a fun pattern on it I think that just adds so much much to an outfit it can make something that's pretty simple look a little more elevated and just kind of add something different to the outfit I also feel like this is such a cheap way to kind of spice up an outfit too you can kind of get socks and tights from like Walmart or Target and it easily changes an outfit too so like it's a really fun way to play with your style and it always inspires me for sure but I've really been loving it this year as well especially with patterns and stuff which brings me to my next thing I have been loving the idea of mixing patterns and again I feel like it ties into the quirky twee girl I've really been loving the idea of mixing patterns like crazy polka dots plaid cheetah print stripes especially if it's in fun bright colors I think that's just really really fun this jacket that I thrifted I really want to play around with that this is maybe a little bit outside my comfort zone because I feel like I usually don't mix patterns too too much But I think it'd be really really fun to fry out and see if I like it But I even love this picture where she literally just has a little plaid bow on her head and then the little cheetah print creepers I think that's a great pattern mixing and it's not like too crazy or in your face But it's something that did really inspire me and like give me some ideas Also tying in with that I would love to try more crazy layering as well again Not too crazy for the fall like that's giving floor girls for spring groundbreaking but I feel like crazy layering has really been kind of inspiring me lately layering is hard for me because sometimes it is like sensory overload like too much is going on and not even comfortable in my outfit I don't want to wear it anymore but visually I've been really really liking it and I think I could maybe do some here and there with some experimental layering but again so many good pictures that I've saved I really really love this outfit where she's layering like crazy there's pattern clashing going on but it also just feels still very cohesive and and it really shows off like again that twee fun 2010s style that I've really been loving. You can also do layering I feel like with hats and scarves to make it a little less overstimulating rather than wearing like five shirts. So I'll definitely experiment and play around with it and it's something I'm very excited about specifically for fall especially when it gets cooler. And I'm not dying of heat all the time. Sort of switching gears completely. I've also been very inspired by all black looks so it's kind of funny I've been talking about color and patterns and craziness but I also do love a sleek all black look. I mentioned how I was really inspired by the Olsen twins and they have some really great all black looks especially with like a big chunky bag. I think that's a very very fun vibe. This is in a very 2010s way. I honestly have not really thought about black skinny jeans in forever and again sensory wise that sounds kind of like a nightmare. I definitely like my bands to be wider but I do really like a black skinny jean surprisingly with like a cool black t-shirt and like some combat boots. I think that is just a very cool girl effortless vibe. I really like this picture. I think it's our from Pretty Little Liars or Lucy Hale. Um, I think that outfit looks really, really nice and seamless. Speaking of, not to go off on a tangent, but Arya's outfits from Pretty Little Liars have also been really, really inspiring me. She is the queen of pattern mixing and doing a little bit of edge, but also a little bit of quirkiness. I just have been really, really liking her style. So maybe uh, eventually I'll deep dive into that, but that's a topic for another day. Next, I also have been really liking big slogan t-shirts. And again, this ties into like the Indie Sleaze 2010s vibes. Although I I feel like indie sleaze and this like quirkier twee fashion blogger style I'm talking about are very different but both are inspiring me at the moment. I love when it has like a silly little phrase and it's just kind of stupid and ironic. <laughs> It's so millennial core of me, but um, I like it a lot. Um, there's a specifically this one t-shirt from this account on Instagram, Indie Sleaze. I'm going to talk about that in a second, but they do have this really cool big graphic shirt that I've been obsessed with. It says IRL Indie Icon, and I need that. I don't know if anyone else will even care about it in my real life or understand, but I need it for me because it's everything I'm obsessed with right now. But yeah, that shirt would be really fun to get, but obviously you can always thrift these slogan tees too. I just think there's something fun about them. They kind of 
speak for themselves and kind of give off like silly fun party energy you know going off of that i have just been inspired by the indie sleaze account on instagram i just think it has such good inspo from that time period authentic photos from back then especially like the kind of like club party looks i've really been liking like when the outfits sort of don't really make a lot of sense but they do to me i've really really been taking inspo from that and i think it's such a fun source if you're really into that time period because they nail it every single time next up i have been really loving deer print now obviously there's cheetah print cow print zebra print i don't see a lot of like the sort of deer fawn print except for pinterest of course again this is one that i love in clothing but it's kind of rare so you could do nail art or something to like kind of get the vibes but in an ideal world i would have like a deer print fluffy jacket fake fur or second hand i just think it's precious whimsical and the brown and white is a really good color combo i thought of that dress recently in my last haul that kind of gave me that sort of deer energy so i will be wearing that i think kind of as inspired by this because I don't really again know if I can even hunt something down like this at the moment but I have been loving it I think it's very cute and kind of niche which I like next up I also have been really inspired by buttons I probably have mentioned that on like a trend video before but it's kind of been popping up again for me I like buttons a lot too because it's so DIY you could sew it on any shirt on any hat there's this cute picture on Pinterest of where she sewed it onto her headband and I think that's super creative and fun and it feeds again into that like sort of whimsical twee vibe that I love. I also love Coraline and that also has button energy around it so that also could be a connection there but yeah I think buttons on literally any article of clothing is super cute on jeans it'd be a very fun DIY to do on the pocket or something so buttons are a cute little detail and like I said super easy. Next up I also have been loving messenger bags. I think they're so cute for the fall. There have been a lot of fun versions on Pinterest that I found. I don't know how realistic they are actually in real life. I love when they have like a fun little print on it. Also specifically, I do love like the Kipling messenger bags. I think the little monkey is so cute. So maybe that's why I like this brand, but it also is good quality. And I did find some the other day at Ross. I can maybe go get it for a lower price eventually too, which could be fun. But I know baggies are super in at the moment. So maybe this would be my like version of that because they are kind of casual. I think they're a little bit more niche and fun. I don't know. I also have been really loving chunky jewelry from the 2000s and 2010s. It's about time I get an owl necklace, I'm just saying. I love when they have like the little chunky rings. The cross ring from back in the day I think is super, super cool. I also love big chunky necklaces and a ton going on down here. I think, again, if you have kind of a simple outfit, it can really elevate it, add a lot more to it without thinking too hard about it. Very maximalist, over the top, which I feel like the 2010s was kind of a maximalism era, which I love. So last but not least, I have been very very inspired by Jeffrey Campbell's shoes randomly. Obviously, I love the Lita's from the 2010s, but I also just like their current shoe designs too. I feel like I've kind of been sleeping on them, but randomly, I think I saw on Adriana's story that she got them gifted and it's like these little clown funky shoes and that is kind of where I was like okay maybe Jeffrey Campbell's still kind of slaying and killing it because I was obsessed so yeah I really love these clown shoes I still love a clown theme a clown motif a clown vibe I think those would be so so fun to wear and like I said I feel like shoe design is just the best I love shoes more than anything but they also have some other fun shoes too I feel like they had these ones with like little anchors on it again come on I love a sailor theme too I love that as well I don't want to say it but it is 2010s-esque. I just really like their different shoe designs too. Don't need any more shoes? Nope, nope, nope. But I've been loving looking at them and I just think they're really, really cool. All right, you guys, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if any of these things have been inspiring you too. I'm very curious to know kind of what's trending in your guys' world. So definitely comment down below. And yeah, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you want to. I also have my Pinterest linked if you want to look at where I get my inspo. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Whoa.